Hello everyone. In this video I wanted to show you a variation that happened in the game uh, Yashiki Habu uh, played in March 27, 2019, a 32nd Drew tournament. Uh, this didn't actually occur in the in the game but it was such an incredible uh, variation that I just wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, so right now the king uh, ran up the board and is kind of exposed. Notice that the defending pieces are way back here. So he has no no defenders in the front. Uh, how could black exploit this? Okay, the first move is 7-6 silver. And now the best defense is to uh, not be greedy and just pull back. Uh, but after 7-5 silver drop, uh, king moves back in 7-4 pawn. Uh, we see that black managed to create thickness uh, with tempo. And this ends up protecting his own king while attacking whites. So it's a good situation for black. Uh, so let's see what happens if he's greedy and takes a silver. Uh, this is just too much. So here, black has an amazing move. Uh, see if you can find it. Okay, an obvious try is to take the lance. 1-1 uh, one, one horse. Uh, the idea being that if he recaptures it, then he's going to get mated like this. Uh, the only problem is that he doesn't need to recapture. Uh, what should he play instead? Seven five king. It's a quick escape. So he ends up surviving this way. Okay, so it wasn't taking the lance. Uh, what about 7 4 pawn? Uh, this is way too slow, and the king can just run back again. You know, he gives up some material, but king safety is way more important. Okay. So this is a, almost a study like move. 5-1 horse. Uh, the immediate threat is simply to take the gold. And this is very hard to see. I mean, the, the purpose behind this might be hard to see, but it's actually immune to capture. Oh, why is that? If rook takes horse, uh, then how do you follow up? Eight, eight four silver is a pincer attack. Okay, stopping the king from running back. If he tries to uh, defend with eight six pawn, uh, the threat was six seven gold mating. So if he tries to make some space with eight six pawn, uh, then uh, you cut off the square with seven seven knight. Eight seven pawn promotes check. And simply eliminate the token. Check, back, check, back, and then eight eight pawn. Uh, threatening uh, eight seven silver mate. I guess you could try try seven five knight, uh, but then. Uh, after 8-7 silver, just eliminate the defenders and mate. Okay. Okay. Also, 8-6 bishop doesn't work. 
Yeah, not, not enough. He just takes it. Uh, check. And he takes threatening six seven gold mate. Okay, so that's what happens if he takes takes a horse. Uh, if he tries uh, eight six. Eight six knight, and he just takes the gold. Uh, now, if four nine dragon, you can just block it with five nine gold. Uh, so six five pawn. And just keep closing in on the king. Uh, this threatens me uh, and there's no defense uh, so another try is to move the gold away either to 7 2 or 6 3 uh, both of them will transpose uh, try to find the next move Yeah, we have to keep the stop the king from running back to seven five. So we do that by taking the knight, and then we throw in this six seven knight, a threatening seven seven gold mate. If he tries to make space for his king with eight six pawn, uh, then just continue to tighten the noose with. A seven five silver. And if he promotes the pawn, check, king back, and then uh, there's no defense. Yeah, so uh, that's about it for for this video. I just wanted to show this uh, this incredible move. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.